morning everyone welcome back to my channel study planet today we are going to start with the new chapter of maths which is data handling and today we are going to cover part 1 so let's start now first of all we need to know that what is actually data handling data handling is the representation of data using tables pictographs bar graphs etc i hope you have heard about it now to make it easier to read if some teacher have taken a survey in that survey we get that in 2000 there are three children and three 2001 etc there are five children like classical music eight children like uh, hollywood music eight uh, five children like uh, hindi music so they draw bar graph so that it's easier to read. Now, there are five kinds of graphs which we are going to study in this chapter. And these are the ways in which we can organize the data in these five ways. Now, pictograms. Now, what is pictograms? It is the representation of data using pictures. I have given an example here. So, this is the pictograph. In pictographs, what happens is we write this like that. We make a table as made here. Then we uh, write the scale. Now, what is the scale? Scale means that one figure equals to how many same author. So, let's say we need to represent 100 uh, apples. Okay. But we cannot draw 100 apples right so what do we do we fix up a scale so there are 1 2 3 4 5 and we have 6 we have 6 of them okay let's change the figure let's say we need to ha we have 120 apples so we need to now check out that if i have one apple I can't make 120 apples, but for one apple, I can write a bigger value. Okay, so uh, we can say that for one apple, how do we calculate the scale now? We calculate the scale by dividing 120 into 6 parts. Let's see how do we do it. Now 6, 2 are 12. 0, 0, now 20. Which means the scale of this equals to 1 figure equals to how many equals to 1, sorry, 20 units. Okay. I hope this scale method is clear. So, if we have 1 banana... 1 banana is 20, so 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 bananas, so 20 into 4, we have 80. So, 80 bananas we have in all. Okay, now how are they made? I'll just explain you. See, so we have the scale first, sorry. We write the scale first. And then, or we fix the scale, here, one smiley equals to one student. So, this was a survey of 30 students in class 6. So, by which transport did they travel? So, 4 students by private car, etc. These were the results. So, we made, okay, so one smiley is a student, only one student. If it would be 2, then 1 smiley is two students so one two three four four to the eight so hence eight students travel by the private car but this uh, but the scale is only one student so it would be four only now let's come to the next one which is the bar graph now graphs in which there are rectangular bars representing data let's see how do they look like you can see that here are the bars not okay now i would like to also uh, put a point here that 
the uh, column graphs are different and bar graphs are different. Bars are horizontal, but column graphs are vertical. I hope this is also clear. So as we have the, you can see, so 35, then we have 40 on in July. So this is a graph for something. So uh, in June, they have uh, 30 students or 30 whatever. Then in May, they have 20. In April, they have uh, uh, 10 like that. Now, how are they made? Draw a bar graph using the following data. Okay. Now, here is the data and here is the graph. So, you can see 1 unit equals to 10 students. So, here what is 1 unit? 1 unit is uh, like between 0 and 10. There are 10 units. Okay. So, two th in 2003, there are 60. In 2002, 50. In 2001, there are 40. 2030. So, these are the number of students. And this is the year. Okay. I hope this is also clear. Now, this is the next one. Okay. Thank you guys for uh, watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please like and share this video and subscribe my channel. Uh, the next part would be coming soon. Thank